So you guys, it's Planet Discus Fish Tank and welcome to part 3 of the Dutch style aquascape. In this video we're going to talk about the CO2 system that I set up from Amazon.com and I'm going to go step by step on how I put it together and how I installed it in the tank. So why are we setting up a CO2 system? With the high density of plants in a Dutch aquascape, there's a lot of competition for nutrients and carbon dioxide. And injecting CO2 will allow the plants to grow lush and colorful. So I ordered a CO2 system from Amazon about three weeks ago. And here's the box that I just opened. I'm going to start out with the CO2 regulator. This is made by a company called Dichi and sold by Amazon for $59.99. Up next is the CO2 glass diffuser made by Yardley, also sold on Amazon for $24.99. And then here we have the paintball adapter so that we can attach the regulator to the 20 ounce paintball can. And that is $9.50. And here we have the 20 ounce CO2 paintball can. This is sold by Dix. It's also available at Walmart and Amazon and it goes for roughly $21. I've already had it filled with CO2 at Dick Sporting Goods and the cost of the CO2 is $4. Now we're going to go ahead and unbox the CO2 regulator. Here are the instructions. I quickly glance over it just to get familiar with the setup. It's been a while since I set up a CO2 system, but it's pretty straightforward. So this here is the glass bubble counter that came with the regulator. Sometimes they sell this separately for roughly $20, so it's great that the package came with it. So it's nice and tightly packaged. And we're taking out the regulator and attached is the solenoid. Set this down. Also in the box are some tools. We have a couple wrenches. There is a hex wrench and an Allen wrench. Here is the adapter. It goes from CGA to 320. That'll allow us to attach the regulator to the paintball can. So here I have some Teflon tape. This will prevent any leaks between paintball can adapter and the regulator. Now I'm going to put a few turns on it. And we're going to go ahead and hand tighten it into the regulator. Here I have an adjustable wrench so that we can go ahead and torque this adapter on. So we're going to use a hex wrench that came with the product and I'm going to do one quarter of a turn. That should be plenty to seal any leaks. Now 
Now we get to connect the assembly to the paintball can. And within the adapter is a washer, so we can go ahead and just hand tighten the tank into the adapter. And similarly, I'm just going to hand tighten it. And I'm reading the gauges, and it looks like it moved to show pressure. The top gauge shows the paintball can pressure, and the second gauge shows the output pressure at the solenoid. So now I'm going to make sure to close the needle valve, and then I'm going to go ahead and plug it in to open the valve so we can test it. So here I'm going to slowly open the needle valve and I'm going to listen for the hissing sound to make sure that the gas is coming out. And it looks like it's working out. Here I get to install the bubble counter. I've already filled it with water. And I'm just going to go ahead and hand tighten this. Now I've plugged the regulator. It's in the on position and now I'm going to slowly open the needle valve to let the gas out. And there we go. Here I'm going to connect the airline tubing. I bought about 25 feet of this silicone airline tubing from Amazon for five dollars. Go ahead and put it into the grommet and I tighten it onto the bubble counter. Open the CO2 glass diffuser. It has a couple of suction cups and a glass a U connection. I'm not going to actually use the U junction because it doesn't fit on the 75 gallon tank. So that is it. It's ready to go into the tank. I go ahead and connect the Suction cups, comes with two of them. They are at 90 degrees from each other, so it fits into the corner of your tank. So here is the CO2 setup connected to the tank. And I'm doing about two bubbles per second. I've also plugged it onto a timer that I've turned on about an hour before the lights come on and I turn it off about an hour before the lights come off. Okay before ending the video I just wanted to give an update on the stock. I've added some new fish to my cleanup crew. These are Siamese algae eaters, SAEs. These guys eat all kinds of algae including hair algae and blackbeard algae. I've also added about six autosynclus catfish. They are also part of the cleanup crew and they eat the brown and the green algae. So these guys will help keep the tank nice and clean. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please join me next week when I talk about DIY liquid fertilizers and automatic dosing. Thanks again.